Hey guys and welcome to the third part of the Optera build with the Paradisco internals building a hyper long range drone. Today we are looking at the powertrain, the engine choices we have and the props we are trying on them. Let's take a look after the intro. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Let's take a look at engines and propellers we have to put on them, building a new powertrain for the new Optera. The original propeller was a 10x5 and uh, we're having now an 11x6, an 11x8 and one uh, a bit larger one 13x7 carbon fiber propeller. We will start with the 11x6 actually trying it out on the new engine mount I'm still building to do the first test runs. This is the 11x6 uh, new carbon uh, propeller and compared to the um, 10x5 from the original Optera it is quite close. It is a bit larger in the diameter and um, I hope to produce a little bit more thrust um, because the engines are downsized. The KV value is uh, in range of what the original KV value was. The original was uh, 1300. Now we are a bit down from that. But this data and the magnets are much smaller because we cannot run engines with such a high draw of amp because the Optera will provide it with the default um, ECU but the uh, Paradisco won't. And the main focus is to utilize the Chuck flight controller from the Paradisco in the body of the Optera because we can do a whole lot of interesting things with the Chuck control unit from the Paradisco. There are a variety of reasons why we want to use the Chuck and what we can do with it. And I will get into details in the next episodes. Today we are really focusing on engine choices and propellers since the powertrain is really one of the crucial key uh, components of uh, that build which has to work. And um, there is no way around um, using more amps and that is a, really a balanced game between engine size, KV, propeller blades to just somehow get enough thrust out of the system to get the Optera frame, which is much heavier than the Paradisco, up in the air. Here we have two smaller engines um, with uh, 1300 kV and 1000. So they are uh, actually the same, just the kV value is different for testing purposes. They're very light, without any mount, it's coming in at 55 grams only. with the mount and some assembly 61, 60 grams. But this one here is basically the one I have um, as a favorite pick. Um, I will try a 1100 kV engine, much smaller, but a full assembly comes in at only 81 grams. And this is the original engine of the uh, Optera, 1300 kV and a very heavy engine. A lot of um, metal and um, big magnets coming in alone the engine at 132 grams. So that weight actually gives some idea how much amp the engine really draws at what kind of load. And with that propeller we're having here, the new one we just built and the much smaller engine, there's hope that the engine doesn't draw under cruising load um, 
too much amp so that the uh, flight controller of the Paradisco does not cut out. So this is our full assembly for the first test engine and powertrain. Coming in at just 104 grams, the total assembly. Now we are comparing that directly to the original powertrain of the uh, Optera. Those are the propeller parts and the engine. It's coming in at 162 grams. So that tells us that we cut the weight of the powertrain in half. And that doesn't mean it uh, draws half of the amps. We have to test how much it actually draws. But the propeller is more efficient and um, it will draw less amp than the original Optera. I did some test runs with the original system and the uh, Paradisco Shark flight controller and it was running. Just under load it was cutting out. So we are getting closer to have a solution that under cruising speeds um, that frame can fly. I'm working now on a completely uh, new engine mount for the Optera frame since the original engine mount is not providing um, many ways to really mount engines we're having now on hand and we want to try out. So uh, this will happen in the next days and uh, then we will have the first test runs. Thanks guys for watching, have a great rest of the day and see you in the next one.